Hi everyone, I'm Astrid. Welcome, welcome, Bessie. And today I'm gonna answer one of like the most frequently asked questions across all my social media, which is how to get driver cards. So last year around March, I requested a couple, well, several driver cards from all the teams actually. And throughout the year, I received a couple of them, which should be playing on the screen now if my editing skills have not gone down the drain. Um, but yeah, so today I'm gonna explain to you how I receive them. But before we start, I do wanna make clear that I am by no means an expert in this. I'm sure there's someone else who can explain it better, but I do get asked this very frequently. So all I'm showing here is how I did it. I know other people do it differently um, and that seems to work as well. So this is just to make sure that everyone understands that this is the way that I did it and the way that has worked for me for the cards that I have received. Also I'd like to point out that for different teams, it is different. So. I am going to do like a general explanation of how I sent the general cards, but I know there are teams who have specific websites through which you can request the cards. And also pointing out that even if you do send money, if you do request by the next steps that I will explain, it is not always 100% sure that you will receive something. So if you don't end up receiving a card, um, that also happens just because of how much people have requested the cards. So. Uh, without further ado, let me explain to you how I requested the, the driver cards. So, to request the driver cards, you're going to need a couple of things, which are, one, you're going to need two different size envelopes. So you're going to need an envelope that is a bigger size envelope. I normally use a C4 envelope, and then you're going to need to use your regular standard envelope. Um, you will also need a pen, a piece of paper, um some money and that is depending like the different currency of depending of what team you want to send it to so for example for our euros if you want to send to mclaren that would be pounds um etc you can send to like the different teams and they will be different uh currencies yeah. you're gonna need some stamps those also depend on the teams you're sending them um, to and that is all you need so to begin with, I normally like to write my notes. So basically in the note, I just grab like a quarter of a piece of paper um, and then I write a really brief note explaining what it is that I want. So it's normally something along the lines of like, hi, my name is Astrid, I'm 20 years old, I'm a big fan of da da da. That is depending on the team that you're sending it to. Um, and then just be like, I would really like to request some signed driver cards from your drivers, you can put the driver names or not. Um, that is normally a part that I highlight, so that is something that stands out to whoever will read the cards. Um, and then I'll put like, I hope you or season goes well, or something along the lines of, and then just be like, thank you so much for your time, sign it off. And then um, I prepare like the next step, which is you take your, big envelope and in the big envelope you're going to write down your address it's super important that you put your address right because they're going to be sending it back to that address and it has to get back to you so therefore you put your name your address however way you put your address in your country because i know that is different as well for each country um you put down your address and then in the smaller envelope you're going to put the address of the teams so I know that there is also like some variance with that as well. I will put on the link below the addresses that I have used, which I found through a Reddit link that is also explaining how they requested driver cards and how they get responses and stuff, but I'll put the link down below of where the addresses are that I used. Um, you're going to put the address on the smaller envelope. And so once you have everything set, you're gonna grab your bigger envelope. You're gonna fold it. I normally have to fold it in fours. Do not crease the edges, just leave it as is. And then you're gonna slip it into the smaller envelope. You then take your note and depending on how big it is, you also fold that or leave it as is depending on the size. And you're gonna slip that into the smaller envelope as well. If you have the money that you're gonna use or the stamp that you bought um, for it to return to you, you're gonna grab that and also place it inside, whether it is a stamp or the money. The amount of money also depends. I 
do not know precisely how much money you need to put in for each uh, team. There are some teams that specify how much money you send. If you look at their website or if you look up um, their PO boxes or how to request driver cards from them. But generally what I do is I will look up more or less how much the fee is to send a card or an envelope uh, from said country to Mexico, which is where I request the cards from. And then I'll put a little more than that into the envelope. Then after you've got all of that in and you make sure they have all of that inside, you will close the envelope, make sure that it is sealed correctly so nothing falls out. And also because most post offices just really want to make sure that your card is completely sealed. Um, and then you head to your post office. If you don't have the stamp yet, you buy the stamp there for whatever country it is you're sending it to. So for example, if I was sending to McLaren, I will ask for a a stamp to England um, and you obviously place that in the corner of your envelope uh, and you send that off so there are depending on where you are requesting from the cards will take a while for me the cards that I received the fastest cards that I received were Ferraris they only took four months but there were cards that took up to eight months to arrive and I also did not receive the cards from a couple of other teams, which I know that their waiter request cards are a little bit more specific. For example, Red Bull, I have not received cards from them, but I know that there is like a more specific way to request cards from them. I have also heard that if you send fan art or some sort of gifts to the teams, you are more likely to receive a reply and a signed card or even a personalized card, which is when they literally put two, in my case it'd be two, Astrid, and then the signature. But I also wanna like make sure that I point out that there are teams that will send cards, but they are not hand signed. There are printed signatures, which was the case that I got for Mercedes, for most, like Mercedes, McLaren, Alfa Romeo, uh, I got printed signatures instead of hand signed signatures. There are also drivers that have specific PO boxes to send them to. So for example, I requested driver cards from Mick Schumacher and Sebastian Vettel, um, and they have their specific way of requesting their cards on their sites, which I can also link down below. Um, and for those, you do like have to send money and they have their specific address. So it's not the team headquarters, but it's the specific address. And that's where um, you can request for like different drivers. I'm not sure out of other drivers if they have specific uh, addresses to send to. The only ones I'm aware of is Sebastian Metal and Mick Schumacher, which I requested and, and received hand signed signatures. Aside from that, it is the same step for most, if not all, teams that I'm aware of. Uh, like I said, you can look up individually how to request driver cards from the separate teams and you should receive some sort of answer online. Um, there are a lot of TikToks also explaining, um, Reddit posts, people on Twitter that I've seen have explained this. And like I said, there are different types to do this. This is just the way that I have requested my cards and I have received reply from a couple of them. So also, another thing that I like to point out, I have heard that the best time to send them is around March and around like May, July, um, because you also have to be aware of that if you're not sending, like if you're sending your standard envelopes, they will take some time to arrive. Um, but yeah, I've heard the best times to send them is around March and uh, around May, July, which is where I've seen that most people send and they generally do get a reply. Um, but yeah, I just wanna point out that like you won't necessarily receive a reply you're likely to but uh there is always a possibility that they're oversaturated or there's just too many people requesting and so it takes a little longer or you don't receive a reply but um i also encourage you to not if you're able to to like not give up after your first try and keep trying so myself this year i will try to send again in march and i will try to send again in may july to receive uh other driver cards so that is how 
I request driver cards. If you request them, good luck. I really hope you received your hand signed driver cards. And if you do, send me pictures, tag me, let me know. Um, if you want to follow me on any other social media, I have my TikTok, which is Astrid underscore Rhino F1. I make a bunch of F1 content there. So if you want to check that out, please feel free to do so. You can also follow me on Instagram, Astrid Moreno, Astrid the double I, or you can follow me on Twitter at Loera Mor at Loera Astrid. Um, all my social media anyways will be linked down below. Um, so you can check that out. And I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please let me know. And if you have any other questions, also let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you would like me to do this video in Spanish, please let me know as well. Um, if I get enough comments, I will make one in Spanish. I do have TikToks in Spanish explaining the same thing. Um, but yeah, if you want a YouTube video uh, where it's a little bit more detailed and I show more examples like I did in this video, do let me know and I will make one in Spanish. Um, anyways, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and leave a like uh, to let me know that I helped you or share this video with somebody that you know uh, is trying to send driver cards. And yeah, that is all. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.